hello everyone welcome back to another video it's your girl simply sarah coming back at you with a video on today and the message for today is stay in your own lane it's so important to stay in your own lane you see when you stay in your own lane you can learn to feel good about yourself you don't have to bring negativity in every relationship you have the fact is, you will feel better around other people and they will love being around you. Staying in your lane is used as a term of advice against those who have a strong will or opinionated view. They are viewed as having insufficient knowledge or ability. When you take detours in other people's life, what usually happens is you will face some bumps and bruises along the way. An example. If someone is carrying a conversation and you decided to put your two cents into it, first you need to ask if it's okay to say anything. You need to slow down and think before you begin to speak. Stay in your own lane. How do I stay in my own lane? Thank you. I'm glad you asked. If you are driving down a two-lane highway, you're not going to drive in the middle of the highway. You're going to stay in your lane unless you may cause a wreck or cause someone to run off the road. What I'm trying to say, when you are out of alignment, things does not work properly. If your body is out of alignment, it's either going to shift to the left or to the right, or you may not be able to move forward. It's the same thing with the relationship. You see, I can't allow Betty, using her as an example, to come into my relationship and put her two cents in. That means Betty is not in her lane and I'm not in my lane because I allow her to tamper in my relationship. And now I'm headed for a downfall. Because you see, when you stay in your lane, you expect things to happen. But because you are in your own lane, you know how to handle it. But being in someone else's lane, you become, you become blindfolded and anything is subject to hit you. What I'm trying to say is to mind your own business or stick with what you know and do whatever you know is good. Because when you stay in your own lane, there is no ongoing traffic. Even on your job, to avoid conflicts, stay in your own lane. The best thing I can say by staying in your own lane is to let people do what they need to do to make them happy. Mind your own business and do what you need to do to make you happy. We got to learn to clean our own house first before we jump ship into someone else's house. You will definitely get further in life if you know when and how to stay in your lane. You see, life is not complicated. Not at all. You can turn your biggest disappointment into your greatest blessing if you stay in your lane. Just don't be eager to run with crowds. Stay in your lane. My advice today, if you're good enough, People will gravitate towards you. Walk in your own shoes. Because if you walk in someone else's shoes, they may be too big to walk in, which will cause you to fall. Or they may be too small, which will cause you to cringe up. When you stay in your own lane, learning how to let them be who they are and you be who you are, it will surely make the world go round. In order for you to stay in your own lane, when others start to surpass you, if they make big moves, don't react, saying I could have made it before them. Stay in your own lane. Just remember to take one day at a time and stay in your own lane. Make your plans and stick to them. Y'all have a blessed and prosperous day. And until the next time, I will see you with another video. Have a great day now.